checked out the new show that's on there now, the sci-fi show called Foundation. I tried to watch Foundation and I had a really hard time of it. I'm glad I'm not the only one. <laughs> like, so I can I, I from household, my dad loved um, Isaac Asimov sci-fi, which is probably where I get the space nerd thing from, which probably linked me into what I'm talking about next. But um, I went into that with a really open mind and just had a hard time getting into the story. Yeah, I just feel like there was so much to it. Like, it was a very meta and... You had to really sit and concentrate through every episode to get what they were trying to present to you. Yeah. Yeah, it's like you said, Isaac Asimov based show uh, follows a, a thousand year saga of the Foundation who are basically exiled and because they, they, their leader like did some crazy math that predicted that the galaxy was going to end or some. Like I said, it was hard to watch. There was a lot going on. I was like, I'm, lo I'm so lost. I, yeah. I watched a few episodes and then I think I got halfway through the season. And I was like, you know what? I'm still so confused. I don't think I can finish this season. It's going to be yeah, one of those ones right. where I think I'll wait until it ends, see what people's overall opinion is of the season and whether it kind of pays off in the end or not. And then if, if it has super high ratings at the end, I might finish the season just to try and close it out. But yeah, at this point, I, I'm yeah. tapping out. There's too much there for me. Yeah, it's a bit of a fizzler for me too. I think the best thing that it did for me was that it got me excited for, they had an ad for Invasion or something like that. I think oh, yeah. Another Apple TV sci-fi thing that they were talking about. And I just wanted that to start and the other one to end. Yep. Yeah, uh, Invasion I have as marked down as a, a buddy thing. Like That looks really good. Yeah, it does. So hopefully that, and it looks like a bit more action packed and easy to follow. So yep. I'd say save the sci-fi till then. Um, yeah, like this show, that obviously the production value is, is super high, like as Apple does, like they put out really, really high quality stuff. But yeah, just the story was just way too much. I feel like I'm constantly having lore thrown at me without grasping what they just presented to me. Yeah, I think from memory, like I tried, because I, like I said, my dad's a big fan, I tried to read some of the books and I found the books exactly the same. So it's not surprising. I think if, if you were a very deep sci-fi fan that you'd be able to do it, but yeah, it's hard for people on the fringes. Yeah. yeah, so that's all I've watched. What were you mentioning with the space nerd stuff? Oh, I went in, I guess, do you know what that weird Gaia thing to go back to it had a few of them that led me into it, a few UFO documentaries, uh, but they were weird ones, but then I ended up getting Paramount Plus um, just to check it out, and they had a four-part series called UFO, um, and it was really good, like it got me hooked into the alien thing again, and I, I kind of go in waves of uh, wonderment, I guess, of of alien and extraterrestrial life and thing, but the four part series for this was, was really quite good. Um, and it makes me sound like a weird sci fi, like conspiracy theory nerd, but I guess the good thing about this show uh, is it starts to take it a bit more seriously and it gets it away from those things like that fire, like it gets it away from the crackpots and starts to put it towards people that are respected um, and information that's respectable. Um, which I think is important because I watched, I remember I watched the, the Netflix show Explained. Do you remember that? Uh, yeah, yeah, yep, yep. Yeah, and that had an uh, episode on extraterrestrial life. And the way that they calculated it was that they're in the universe, there's 10,000 stars for every grain of sand on Earth. So if you think about Jeez. that amount of stars, if 5% of those stars are like our sun, then there's the potential for there to be 500 billion billion suns in the universe. So chances are that in 500 billion billion suns that there's going to be a planet revolving around them that's similar to ours somewhere in the universe. Oh, yeah, like, I, I agree. It's, it's got to be mathematically impossible if we're the only planet. Exactly. So I guess this takes it into, well, why are we kind of ignoring all the information we have? There was one that I'd never heard of. Uh, it was Phoenix Lights. It happened in 1997 over Phoenix in Arizona. 
and there were these lights that hung in the sky in this weird like V shape and it was sitting there for hours and hours moving around and it was spotted by over 2,000 people. Um, and over time, the government said that they were going to investigate it, this, that, and the other, until eventually, at a press conference, the, um, the local, I think it was the governor, but he came out at this massive press conference and was like, we worked it out, we worked it out. And all the people that thought that they would, had seen something, all these people were in agreement that it wasn't normal. And they brought out a fake person dressed up in handcuffs with a fake alien suit on. And we're like, oh, we got him and made a big joke out of it. And then they never looked at it again. So people just try to push it under the rug. And I think it's, it's a really cool documentary series that takes it from the perspective of um, like civilian witnesses, like the Phoenix Lights. Um, they take it from government officials and interview people like that governor or government officials that have tried to look into things. Uh, and then all the way up to, to military that have, I mean, a lot of those fighter pilots and things, if you've, they actually released footage recently where a couple of fighter pilots tracked on their weapons cams um, things that they didn't know what they were. Yep. Um, yeah, I remember seeing that video. Yeah, and in the end, they've released a lot of those, that, that amount of footage. There's some from the International Space Station where you can see things coming and going, and at least the government to this point now have officially declare that they don't know what they are, um, which I think is nice because it means that a lot of those people felt like in 1997, um, felt like they were, I guess, made fun of. And when there's thousands of other people that are doing the same thing as you to be made fun of, it must be really frustrating for them. Like me personally, I've never seen anything, but I, I believe there would be something, to quote the X-Files, something out there. <laughs> um, but yeah, interesting perspective to see it from um, different people that are involved in different things. And it was, yeah, even to the point where they took it that you can look at how quickly our technology has advanced since um, the end of World War II when they thought that the, the Roswell crash happened, that we've got things like optic fibre and small microchips. And if you look at the boom in technology that we've had, uh, there's a bit of a link there that people can try and make. There's, there's a lot of mystery to it, um, but I think this series does a really good um, attempt at making it more official, not so silly. It makes it like the production value, like you say, with Apple, Paramount have done a similar thing here. It doesn't look like grainy hand cam footage or some weird guy that thinks he can telepathically communicate with people on that Gaia platform. It's actually respectable people talking about serious things. Yep. So I found it really interesting. Um, I don't know if you're someone that, that is skeptical yeah, i guess you'd still be skeptical but if you're someone that's kind of on the edge or that believes that like i said that there's a potential for extraterrestrial life and whatever it is um it definitely created a lot of wonder in me and it, it just has an, an impact of making you feel small that there's a lot more out there but I, I guess overall for me i take that um feeling connected to something that you just don't know what it is so mm -hmm. i don't know i like i like the 